Praise you, everybody. We're going to continue reading the Torah reading for this week. And the Torah reading this week, we started the new book of Deuteronomy. So we're up to Deuteronomy. We did one, two. And this week, or today, we're going to do Deuteronomy chapter three, up to verse 22. So the chapter goes up to 37, but the, the Torah reading goes up to 22. So we're going to read now Deuteronomy 3, 22. And we turned and went up by the way of Bashan. And Og, the king of Bashan, came out to meet us, he and all his people, to battle in injury. And Yah said to me, do not fear him, for I have given him into your hand and all his people and his land. And you shall do him as you have done to Shion, the king of the Amorites, who lived in Heshbon. And Yara Elohim also gave Og, the king of Bashan, into our hands, and all his people. And we struck him until not one survivor was left to him. And we captured all his cities. At that time, there not being a city which we did not take from them. Sixty cities, all in the region of Argev, the kingdom of Og, in Bashan. All these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, with bars, and double leaven doors, besides a great many of the unwalled towns. And we utterly destroyed them as we had done to Shion, the king of Heshbon, destroying every city, the men, the women, and the little ones. And we plundered for ourselves all the livestock and the plunder of the cities. And we took the land that was beyond the Jordan from the valley of Aaron to Mount Haram, out of the hand of two kings of the Amorites. And Sidians call Harman Sirion, and the Amorites call it Sinir. Verse 10 we're up to. All the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, to Salib and Injury, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan. For only Og, the king of Bashan, remained of the rest of the giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Is it not in Rabath of the sons of Ammon, nine cubits long and four cubits broad by a cubit of a man? And we possessed this land and that at that time from Aria by the valley of Aaron and half the hill country of Galid and its cities. I gave to the Reubenites and to the Gadonites and the rest of Galid and all of Bashan, the kingdom of Og. I gave to the half tribe of Manasseh, all the region of Argob to all Bashan. That is called the land of the giants. Ja'ar, son of Manasseh, took all the region of Argob to the border of the Gershonites and to the Machathanites and called them, even Bashan, after his own name, towns of Ja'ar, until today. Verse 15. And I gave Galid to Machhar. And to the Reubenites and to the Gadonites, I gave the lead even to the valley of Arnon, the middle of the valley and its border, even to the Jobach River, which is the border of the sons of Ammon, and the Amath, the Jordan and its border from Sinareth, even to the Sea of Arabah, the, sea, the salt sea under the slopes of Pisgah. Eastward. And I commanded you at that time, saying, Yah, your Elohim has given you this land to possess it, and you shall pass over armed before your brothers, the sons of Israel, all the warriors. Only your wives and your little ones and your livestock shall dwell in your cities, which I gave have given to you. I know that you have much livestock. It shall be until Yah shall give rest to your brothers like yourselves. And they too have possessed the land which Yah, your Elohim, is giving to them beyond the Jordan. Then you shall each man return to his possession which I have given to you. 
verse 21. And I at that time commanded Joshua saying, your eyes have seen all that Yah your Elohim has done to those two kings. So Yah shall do to all the kingdoms to which you are passing over. Do not fear them, for Yah your Elohim, he shall fight for you. So that is to verse 22 of chapter 3. That is the Torah reading for this day. May you all have a blessed day. May Yah be with you this day and always. And keep one another in prayer. Shalom, shalom.